Hi, I'm Jonavi from Liberty High School. Support for today's Varsity Quiz is provided by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Coming up next on Varsity Quiz, it's the Meadows <laughs> and Liberty. <laughs> this is Varsity Quiz. to the 50th season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and brightest high school students match wits in this unique academic competition. As Vegas PBS is celebrating a half century of serving Southern Nevada, so too is Varsity Quiz celebrating its golden anniversary. Woo! You know, with the phenomenal growth of Clark County, want to make sure you know there are now two separate varsity quiz leagues in each season's competition. Valley High School, the champs of the Blue League, we're continuing now on the road to the Silver League Championship with the third of four quarterfinal matches. The Meadows going head-to-head -head with Liberty. First, the Meadows, they finished in second place in the West Division with a record of 6-1. and one. Let's meet their starters. There's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Raiz, howdy. There's Sam and Jared. Good luck, you guys. And the other players for the Meadows. Welcome. The coach for the Meadows, Gary Handley. For Liberty, they ended the season in third place in the East Division at a record of two and three. Starting for the Patriots, there's Jenna Lynn. Hi, Jenna Lynn. John Avi, welcome. Ryan C. and Roy. And the other players for Liberty, welcome. <laughs> Coach for Liberty, David Fisher. <laughs> there are 25 questions in this first round, each correct answer worth five points. A reminder to the students, please speak loudly so the judges can hear and understand your answers. Please wait till you're recognized before answering. Ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. Heavy water has the same chemical formula as ordinary water, except that one or both of its hydrogen atoms are what isotope? Liberty, Roy. Deuterium. Louder. Deuterium. Can we accept that? Very good. That is the correct answer. A little bit louder next time, Roy. Uh, next question. A famous sculpture by Bernini depicts Apollo pursuing what nymph? The Meadows, Sam. Daphne? Yes. What U.S. president proposed conscription of 40,000 men for the U.S. Army, but the War of 1812 ended? Uh, that's the Meadows, Sam. Madison? Yes. What word that, as a noun, indicates a kind of marine bivalve mollusk can be paired with the word up to produce a phrasal verb meaning to refuse to talk? Liberty, Ryan C. Clam? Do we need the entire answer? Okay, you're good. That's exactly right. Thank you, sir. Next question. Pollution coming from a specific site, such as a factory or a septic tank, is known as a what source pollution? The Meadows, Joanne? Industrial. Incorrect. Liberty, gentle in. Primary. Uh, no, we're looking for point source pollution. No correct answer. We move on. In 1609, Pedro de Peralta became governor of the kingdom and provinces of New Mexico. He established his capital in the Meadows, Jared. Santa Fe. Yes. Next question. Kipling's The Man Who Would Be King and Hilton's Lost Horizon are about lost worlds on what continent? Liberty, Roy. Africa. Incorrect. The Meadows, Sam. Asia. Yes. Name the famous art collection whose controversial move to a new building next to the Philadelphia Museum of Art faced major resistance. The Meadows, Sam. Guggenheim. Incorrect. Uh, time, we're looking for the Barnes Collection. We move on. In the United States Senate, disciplinary action against a senator may take two forms, including expulsion, which requires a two-thirds majority, and what other action that requires a simple majority? Uh, the Meadows, Jared. Impeachment. Incorrect. Time, we're looking for censure. Next question. In 1934, Samuel Goldwyn purchased the film rights to what children's novel by L. Frank Baum? Liberty, Roy. The Wizard of Oz. That's right, yes. Next question. A thief is trying to slide a heavy safe across a warehouse floor. He shoves and shoves with all his might, but the safe doesn't move. Uh, the Meadows, Sam. Static friction. Yes. Uh, in 2018, 
The United States called for the suspension of what troubled South American country from the OAS? Liberty, Roy? Venezuela. Yes. Capital cities situated nearest to the equator include Quito in Ecuador, Libreville in Gabon, and Kampala in what country? Liberty, Roy? Uganda. Yes. Next question is a calculation question. Two numbers are in the ratio of 5 to 2. If they differ by 21, what's the larger number? Repeating two numbers, ratio 5 to 2. If they differ by 21, what's the larger number? The Meadows, Jared. 13. Incorrect. I believe they did not get in in time. Too late, the answer was 35. Next question. Name the independent U.S. government agency that investigates aviation accidents, incidents, and disasters. The Meadows, Jared. FAA. Incorrect. Uh, the answer, the NTSB, National Transportation Safety Board. Next question. Lower Odor Valley National Park Berchtesgaden NP and Black Forest NP are national parks of what European country? The Meadows, Jared. Germany. Yes. The outcome of what lengthy battle in which General Grant's troops forced the surrender of Pemberton's army was the occasion for the 1863 note in which President Lincoln wrote, uh, that's Liberty Roy. Battle of Antietam. Incorrect. That the Mississippi River again goes unvexed to the sea. The Meadows, Sam. Battle of Vicksburg. Yes. Next question. Two regions of the hind brain control the rate of breathing. One's the medulla oblongata. Name the other. Liberty, Roy. The ponds. Yes. A show trial in what country adjacent to the Black Sea in 1989 resulted in the executions of Nikolai Ceausescu and his wife? The Meadows, Jared. Ukraine. Pardon me? Ukraine. No. Uh, Liberty, Roy. As per by John. No, we were looking for Romania. Next question. In 1128, the Pope granted a papal sanction to what order of medieval soldiers whose mission... Uh, Liberty, Roy. The Templars. Can we accept that? That's a no? Okay, I'll finish the question. Whose mission was to protect pilgrims on their way to and from the Holy Land during the Crusades? The Meadow, Sam. Knights Templar. That's what we were looking for. Thank you, sir. Next question. What psychological term for the elimination of a conditioned response by removing the reinforcement from a conditioned stimulus? Uh, the Meadows, Joanne. Pavlov's bell. Incorrect. Is also used in zoology for the termination of a species. Liberty, Donovy. Extinction. Yes. Next question. From a grammatical perspective, what error is illustrated in the following line? If you open up that Pandora's box, you'll find it's full of Trojan horses. Liberty, Jonavi. Malapropism. No, that's incorrect. I like that, though. Uh, we were looking for the old mixed metaphor. Next question. News reports in mid-2018 indicated that the flow of millions of refugees from what South American country was leading... Uh, the Meadows, Sam. Venezuela. Yes. In 1923, Adolf Hitler was arrested in Munich for his role in an attempted coup. Uh, that's the Meadows, Johan. Beer Hall Putsch. Yes. America's second transcontinental railroad connecting Los Angeles to the east crossed land in Arizona that had been acquired by the U.S. through uh, the Meadows, Sam. Gadsden Purchase. Yes. Uh, that's the end of round one, but before we move on, we want to get to know a little bit more about our players. And we'll start with the Meadows. Uh, we have 10th grader, Yoan. Hi, Yoan. You having fun so far? Yeah. I understand that you speak a few different languages. Uh, yeah, I do. I speak Armenian, uh, English, and Russian. Wow. Did you grow up around either one of those or both uh, of them? Yeah, I grew up around all of them. My mom is from Russia and my dad is from Armenia, and we travel back and forth between them Is there any way to say varsity quiz in Armenian? Uh, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Uh, good luck with all your languages and good luck on varsity quiz. Thanks, Joanne. Thank you. Here's Raiz, 10th hey, grader. Dude. How's it going? Good. How about you? I'm, I'm mostly sunny. Uh, I understand that you play the piano? Oh, yeah. How long have you been doing that? Uh, four years. And do you do it in school or just for fun? Oh, I just do it for fun. Uh, favorite composer or favorite style of music you like to play? Uh, I like more contemporary styles. Wonderful. Well, good luck with that and good luck here on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Reese. Thank you. Uh, here's 12th grader Sam. Welcome back to Varsity Quiz, Sam. Thank good you. to see you again. 
Uh, tell me, I know some folks are aware of it, but just in case people do not know what eSports is. Uh, eSports is when you play a video game competitively. And so that's a thing? Yeah. How are, do you do that? Uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. How do you do? Okay. Do you win points or prizes or? Um, no, nothing uh, Dragon of note. Rights. Sure. Awesome. Well, Sam, good luck with the eSports and good luck on varsity quiz. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, here's 11th grader Jared. Welcome back again. Hi, Jared. Thank you. Hi there. Good to see you again. Uh, I understand you play a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. And what is that? I play the bassoon. That is awesome. I used to play bassoon back in the day. Oh, really? That's How long have you cool. been playing bassoon? Since sixth grade, so um, like um, five, over five years. Well, keep so. up the bassoon and good luck on varsity quiz. Thank you. So that's our team from the Meadows. Give them a hand. Good job, guys. Uh, let's meet our players now from Liberty. We'll start with 12th grader Jenna Lynn. Hi, Jenna Lynn. Good to see you again. I understand that you play the ukulele. Yeah. How long have you been doing that and where did that come from? Um, I started playing in around fourth grade when my dad came back from Hawaii and so I just kind of ran with it. You having fun with it? Yeah. Do you do it at all in school or is it just for fun? Um, sometimes I play with my friends. Okay. More of a jam session thing. Jamming on the ukulele. Thanks, Jenna Lynn, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thank you. Also returning to Varsity Quiz is Jonavi. Hi. Hi. Welcome back, 12th grader. It says here that you like spicy food. I and love spicy. Apparently, <laughs> even kicking it up several notches. What's the hottest food you've had? Uh, so Jenna over here actually gave me a Carolina Reaper, and so I ate one of those, and it was it was a painful experience, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm a hot pepper person myself, so well, there you go. And good luck with that. Good luck on Varsity Quiz. Thanks, Jonavi. Thank you. Here's Ryan C., a 12th grader. How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm still mostly sunny. Huh. Uh, I understand you play various musical instruments. What do you play? Um, I, I taught myself guitar and piano starting around sixth grade. And then for two years in middle school, I took cello. Are you still playing the cello? Sometimes, but mostly piano right. and some guitar. Well, I'm glad you're playing music of any kind, Ryan. Thank you. And good luck on Varsity Quiz. Here's 12th grader Roy. Hi, Roy. Hi. Good to see you again. I understand you like a specific type of novel that you like to read. What is that? Um, I love to read Russian novels. It's just the authors themselves make the characters alive. They make them feel more real. Awesome. Well, keep enjoying those Russian novels and good luck on Varsity Quiz. There's the team from Liberty. Now our bonus round is next. Going into round two, the score Meadows 50 and Liberty 40. The judges reviewed one of the answers in the first round and decided that the answer uh, Templar was good enough, and so those points were re-awarded. We do have a couple of new players we wanted to make sure you meet for the Meadows. We say hello to Justin F. and Molony. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Varsity Quiz and good luck. Uh, we have one new player for Liberty. We say hello to Connor. Hi, Connor. Good luck to you. So in this bonus round, each of 10 possible questions is worth five points. The team with the correct answer will get two bonus questions, each worth five points. Uh, team conferring is permitted on those bonus questions with 10 seconds allowed before the team captain's response. The round is timed at six minutes. Time begins when I start this first question. While natural bridges are formed by fluvial or marine erosion, what similar structures are formed when weathering, mass collapse, and wind erosion create a hollow through a mass of rock? Liberty, gentlemen. Arch. I believe we can accept that, yes. And bonus questions now for Liberty only. Answer the following associated with geology. First, it would be unlikely for you to find schist overlying limestone because the same conditions that created the schist, schist would also turn the limestone into what metamorphic rock? Second, name the major volcanic cone visible from the Waikiki beachfront. Um, for the first answer, basalt, and for the second answer, Mauna Kea. Uh, both are incorrect. We're looking for marble and diamond head. So no bonus points. Now this question for both teams. While simultaneously holding the titles of Army Minister, War Minister, Minister of Commerce, and Minister of Industry, what Japanese Prime Minister authorized the attack on Pearl Harbor? Liberty Roy. Hirohito. Incorrect. 
The Meadows, Sam. Tojo? Yes. Bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Uh, answer the following associated with Japan. First, name the classical Japanese dance drama known for the elaborate makeup worn by some of its performers. Second, what Japanese admiral who contrived the surprise attack at Pearl Harbor died when American aircraft shot down his plane over Bougainville Island in 1943? Captain? Um, for the first answer, Kabuki. For the second, no answer. Uh, the first is correct, so you got some bonus points. We we're looking for Yamamoto. So again, some bonus points. Now this question for both teams. In what island country were moas hunted to extinction? The Meadows, Jared. New Zealand? Yes. Bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Answer the following associated with animals. First, known as a New World Vulture, name the largest North American land bird which became extinct in the wild in 1987, but the species has since been reintroduced to northern Arizona and southern Utah. Second, give the term for the substance that covers a growing antler, providing blood flow that supplies oxygen and nutrients. Captain. For the first one, condor. For the second, cuticle. Of the second's incorrect, we're looking for velvet. Can we accept that first answer? Okay, we cannot. We're looking for the California condor. So no bonus points. Uh, this question now for both teams. It's a calculation question. Simplify the cube root of 128 divided by the cube root of 2. Repeating, simplify uh, the meadow, Sam. Yes, bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Answer the following calculation questions. First, what degree is the following equation? The quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x plus 1 equals y minus, or equals y. Second, if y is directly proportional to x, and when x equals 3, then y equals 15, what is the constant of proportionality? Repeating, what degree is the following equation, quantity x plus 2 times quantity x plus 4 times quantity x plus 1 equals y. Second, if y is directly proportional to x, and when x equals 3, then y equals 15, what is the constant of proportionality? For the first, third degree. For the second, five. Both are correct. You've got bonus points. Our next question for both teams. If you stepped ashore on the eastern side of the Gulf of Suez, you'd be in what country? Meadows, Jared. Saudi Arabia. Incorrect. Uh, Liberty, Roy. Yes. Bonus questions now for Liberty only. Answer the following associated with Egypt. Uh, in, uh, first, in 2017, what former Egyptian president was acquitted on charges of killing protesters during the 2011 uprising that ended his political career? Second, what was the 1967 war between Egypt and Israel called? For the first one, Farouk the first. For the second one, the Six Days War. Six Day War is correct. The president we were looking for was Hosni Mubarak. So some bonus points, and now this question for both teams. While rust always involves moisture and oxidation, what's a more general term for the deterioration of a substance? Uh, the Meadows, uh, Malini? Oxidation. No, by its reaction to any chemical substances. Liberty, gentlemen. Reaction? No, we were looking for corrosion. Next question for both teams. In what book with a title including the name of one of the seasons is the following passage found? A who's who of pesticides is of concern to us all. If we're going to live so intimately with these chemicals, eating and drinking them. Meadows, Jared. Silent Spring. Yes. Bonus questions now for the Meadows only. Answer the following associated with Silent Spring. First, name the author of Silent Spring. Second, Silent Spring started a change in the United States national pesticide policy leading to a nationwide ban on what pesticide for agricultural use? For the first one, Rachel Carson. For the second, DDT. Both are correct. You got bonus points. 
And we're out of time. So that is the end of the bonus round. We want to take a moment to say thank you to the Kiwanis Club of Las Vegas. They help provide judges for the in-school competitions that led up to today's match. Also, a shout out to the staff and leadership of the Clark County School District's Student Activities Department. They coordinate every step of the program from early in the school year all the way to the championship. Speed round coming up next. The score going into round three, the Meadows with 95 points to Liberty's 55. It's only a cliche because it's true. Anything can happen in the speed round. Uh, before we get started, a couple of new players for Meadows. We say hi to Sheen and Luke. Howdy. Welcome and good luck. Uh, we have a returning player for Liberty. Welcome back, Jonavi. So in this speed round, there are 30 questions. Correct answers worth five points. This is a timed round at six minutes. Get to as many questions as we can. If we read all 30 before the six minutes is up, the match will be over after the response to that 30th question. Here we go. All waves can be classified either as electromagnetic or what? Meadows, Sam. Transverse. No. A time we're looking for mechanical. Next question. You'd have to travel to what constituent country of the United Kingdom to see the National Wallace Monument? Liberty, Roy. Scotland. Yes. In 1794, George Washington established what arsenal at the confluence of the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers? Meadows, Sam. Fort Knox. No. Liberty, Connor. Fort Sumter. No, we're looking for Harper's Ferry. Next question. What's the title of the highest ranking federal law enforcement officer in the United States Senate? Meadows, Sam. President pro, temp pro tempore. No. Liberty, gentlemen. Majority leader. No, it's sergeant at arms. Next question. Hot corner, knuckler, and ribby are all words and phrases used by commentators in what sport? Liberty, Roy. Boxing. No. Meadows, Jared. Wrestling. No, that's baseball. Next question. What ism is illustrated by animals in all kinds of fables and tales that, that talk and exhibit human behaviors? Uh, Liberty, gentlemen. Anthropomorphism. Yes. Next question. What ancient city on the Mediterranean included the Grand Temple of Serapis, or Serapis, the great... Uh, we'll go with Liberty Roy. Alexandria. Yes. Next question is calculation. We don't repeat here in the third round. Simplify negative two to the negative third power. Meadows, Luke. One over eight. Yes. On an alphabetical listing of helping verbs, which one's last? Liberty, gentlemen. Well. No. Meadows, Sam. Wood. Yes. Next question. Recent DNA tests have revealed that what young Pharaoh's parents were brother and sister, and that his wife was his half-sister? Liberty, Roy. Two in common. Yes. Uh, what United Nations World Heritage Site is the world's largest super volcano? Meadow, Sam. Yellowstone. Yes. Name the American author of the lyrical poem, Because I Could Not Stop for Death, published in... Uh, Meadows, Jared. T.S. Eliot? No, in 1890. Liberty Roy? Faulkner? No, that was Emily Dickinson. Next question. What's the measure of how quickly the velocity of an object? Uh, Liberty, Jonavi? Acceleration. Yes. In relation to jazz, what, with what kind of musical instrument is a skins player associated? Uh, Liberty, Jonavi? Saxophone? No. Meadows, Sam? Drum? Yes. In 1821, the Philadelphia College of Apothecaries was founded. What professional title did graduates of that institution earn? Meadows, Sam. Pharmacist? Yes. Name the literary term for when a character has a sudden, eye-opening, aha insight or realization about a... Uh, that's Meadows, Jared. Epiphany? Yes. In 1892, in a back street in Coffeyville, Kansas, later called Death Alley, armed townspeople violently ended the days of what gang of Old West outlaws? Liberty, Roy? The Jesse James gang? No. It was the Dalton gang. Next question. What 16th century prince is regarded as the father of the Netherlands? Liberty, Roy? William Forange? Yes. What kind of ion has a net positive charge? Meadow, Sam? Cation? Yes. In 1981, Zhang King was sentenced to death for alleged crimes during the Cultural Revolution. She was whose widow? 
Liberty, Roy. Mao Zedong. Yes. With what kind of opia do close objects appear blurry? Uh, Liberty, gentlemen. Myopia. No. Uh, time, we're looking for hyperopia. Next question. What's the most widely used scale for measuring absolute temperature? Meadow, Sam. Kelvin. Yes. What government position was held at different times in 2018 by Rex Tillerson? Uh, Meadow, Sam. Secretary of State. Yes. Name the following symphonic poem by Paul Dukas based on the Goethe poem Der Zauberlehrling. And they call it the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Next question. Founded in 1934, the Falange was a political party in what European country? Liberty, Genevieve. France. No. Meadows, Sheen. Germany. No, it was Spain. What color is usually associated with the minerals cinnabar, jasper, and garnet? Meadows, Sam. Red. Yes. One joule equals one newton times what? Meadows, Jared. Meter. Can we accept that? Yes. Uh, what characterist played a large role in the downfall of the New York uh, Liberty Roy? Nast. Yes. Mermaids are most similar to what Greek mythical sea nymphs? Liberty Roy? Hesperids. No. Meadow Sam? Siren. Yes. What, according to the following Latin line, is the essence of life? Amor es vitae essentia. Meadows, Jared. Love. Yes. We've run out of questions, so that's the end of the third round. Let's find out who won. Final score, Meadows with 160, Liberty 95. Congratulations to both teams. A great match. Congratulations to Meadows. They move on to the Silver League semifinals. Next week, it's the fourth of our quarterfinal matches. We hope you'll tune in as Green Valley takes on Palo Verde for another exciting night of Varsity Quiz. Oh, by the way, do you know you can follow Varsity Quiz on social media? Yeah, there's a Twitter account. It's simply at Varsity Quiz. On Facebook, search for Kiwanis Varsity Quiz. See you next Monday at 730, right here on Vegas PBS. Good night.